piece by piece, Eileen Koslin is packing up, downsizing in anticipation of a move she doesn't want. It's been home. It has been. It really has been. All 30 tenants of this Esquimalt apartment building have been put on notice by the building's new owner to move out for renovations. This building does need to be cleaned up. Yes, there are issues. No, we do not have to be kicked out in order to get this done. No, there's just no way. It's great. A hearing with the residential tenancy branch is set for May 2nd. Prior to that meeting, advocates say the new owners have been handing out hush money. The landlord has offered a payout, um, basically a larger sum of money than what the residential tenancy branch will give them in exchange for them giving up their rights to challenge the eviction. In a letter sent out to tenants, the owner is shopping around a $5,000 offer to move out with strings not to complain or talk. A much better deal than what the residential tenancy branch offers, which is just one month's rent. Bite me. Like, just bite me big time. Eileen is one of ten fighting it. She gave her life as a civil servant, working 40 years with the province and feds. Now she's scraping to live on a full pension. This is a joke. Why is this still happening considering the changes that your government has made? There is a process in place. There's a four-month notice requirement. Uh, it, not, it appears that may not be the case in this situation. They have a date and uh, we'll be watching it closely. Esquimalt's mayor calls it heartbreaking. Where do people go? They're, we don't have enough co accommodation for low income. Esquimalt's tenancy assistance policy doesn't apply here, leaving the fate of Eileen and her 30 neighbors in the hands of the tenancy branch. If the landlord is able to win at the tenancy branch, it's effectively allowing a rent eviction, which the government said they were going to put an end to. King says if a building filled with low-income seniors like this can be cleared, it's a policy failure and just the tip of the iceberg. This building is not an isolated incident. We're starting to see rent evictions come back, especially in Esquimalt. Together Against Poverty Society says the province should be helping more nonprofits buy these low rise apartment buildings, which could keep them affordable. Living is something that people shouldn't have to worry about. The building's owner, with sturdy investments, did not respond to Czech News's request for comment.